so you can set rotation, but you wish the transition was smooth. Not a problem. Here you can see we have a blueprint that when you press the E key, it sets the object's rotation to 45. But if you press it again, it flip-flops it to negative 45 instead. But to make the transition smooth, delete the bottom rotations, right-click, add a timeline, right-click, add a make rotator node, double-click the timeline, add a float track, name the track whatever you want, and from here this works exactly like the timelines we used from the particle systems. Right-click to pan the camera, and middle-click scroll up and down to zoom in and out. The horizontal numbers represent time. The vertical numbers represent the value you want the Y rotation to be during that time. Right-click and create a starting point. Set it to 0, 0, then right-click again to add a second point that represents the value you want the rotation to be after however many seconds you want it to take. For now, I want the rotation value to be 45 degrees after 1 second. So that's exactly where I'll set it. You can also use these two buttons up here to automatically shrink the timeline to fit exactly where the action is. And usually you'll want to make the timeline not too much longer than your action. Our action is 1 second, so I'm going to make the timeline only last 1.2 seconds. And if we right click again, we can change how the curve reaches the value. So if we set it to something like this, compile, save, and drag them together like so, compile, save, and run the game, you will now see that when we press E, it smoothly rotates to 45. And if we press it again, because we set flip-flop to reverse, it just does the exact same thing backwards. If our curve was more linear like this, the rotation would look a lot more stiff. So play with the curves if you're not getting the smoothness that you like. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.